Use BVNs to pay stipends into their accounts. Nigerians are hungry, Tinubu advises Buhari. Bola Tinubu, national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, on Wednesday, joined the federal government to render emergency sustenance relief to Nigerian households in a bid to cushion the effects of coronavirus. Tinubu said the relief which should be distributed to households and employed should be done via cash payment using their BVNs. In a lengthy article where he stated his position on the economic stimulus to Nigerians and ideas on revamping the economy, Tinubu, me, the APC national leader, stressed that such reliefs will help refuse hunger. According to Tinubu, with the fiscal latitude provided by lifting the budgetary limit, the government can render emergency sustenance relief to most Nigerian households, especially the recent unemployed via cash payments. This will blunt hunger, maintain aggregate demands in the domestic economy, and help sustain private sector markets to the extent possible directed towards needy and modest households. Such expenditures must be heavily weighted to local produce, not to imports. This will help mute inflation. The former Lagos state governor also gave a breakdown on how the government should distribute financial palliatives to Nigerians. He said such payments can be done in either one or in a combination of three ways. First, we can designate a stipend for every household. The amount should be enough to pay for the monthly needs of an average household for food and other basics. While this may somewhat penalize larger families, perfection can be hard at this time. Second, the stipends could be given as a form of emergency unemployment insurance to those who can prove they were relieved of employment due to the crisis. This would be more targeted at the actual victims of the crisis, but harder to administer. This stipend would also have to be extended to owners of small and medium-sized businesses. Third, we could render some form of payroll support to companies and businesses that seek to retain workers, albeit they may not be fully employed. The stipends could help companies stay in operation while maintaining workers on their payroll. By maintaining workers, the company can more swiftly return to full operation when normalcy returns. Payment of these stipends will require hiring additional government workers to augment the existing bureaucracies in to implementing this program. The administrative requirement will help boost employment and aggregate summer demands. Tinu further stated that payments of palliatives would be easier using BVN of prospective recipients for direct payments into their bank accounts. This will encourage those without bank accounts to establish such accounts. The, this process will bring millions of people into formal banking. It will also be safer and not lead to the types of violence and crime that may follow. Physical cash transfer, he added. So fellow Nigerians, that's the news reaching us at the moment. And then Bola Tinubu has come out to actually tell the government exactly what Nigerians are thinking about and um, what um, the government should be doing and what other governments in the world are doing at the minute to, to help their citizens and also um, to help the country. You see, um, one of the facts, one thing is, um, you see, when these guys are not in the ruling government, they tend to be wise. They tend to say the correct thing that the masses are actually facing. But unfortunately, if Tinubu himself gets into government, he wouldn't be doing this. He wouldn't be saying this. That's the problem that we've got in Nigeria. We don't know what actually impedes this um, government from doing what is right to the people and to the citizens or to the country, country itself. Well, 
what Tinubu has said, it's absolutely the perfect thing to do. Believe it or not, many people, as a result of this lockdown, has lost their um, source of income, has lost their daily pay rate, has lost a whole lot of things. There's a whole lot of disruption in any country that there is a lockdown in, you see. So Nigeria is not um, outside this. So now there's a lockdown in Nigeria. People have lost their jobs. People can no longer even fend for their families. And these are ways that countries of the world uses to help their citizens, to make sure that at least they have basics, food, you know, to sustain them and other things. Do not forget that Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world, you see. So there are too many things to do to help the citizens of Nigeria. Bola Tinubu has stated them, if you have lost your job as a result of the COVID-19, um, you need to prove that you have actually lost your job and you would get a stipend from the government. And that should not be uh, um, um, given through the local government or whatever. It should be paid directly. That's what Nigerians are clamoring for. However way you want to help the citizens, it should be done directly. Direct payment, direct measures are the best measures for Nigerians. Not having to go through the go uh, local government, from the local government to the local this and all that. And at the end of the day, it doesn't get to ordinary Nigerians. So, Bola Tinubu has stated it. A lot of, he's, he's even going to bring employment into the country because why? Um, for, for the government to be able to administer this, he would need more hands, more staff, more workers. To be able to administer this to millions of Nigerians that are in poverty. But you know, it's not about every day coming out to say, oh, we have a PTF or this, that um, um, committee set, for, set, set to handle the COVID-19, this or that or that. No strategy, nothing. We're not having a breakdown. We're not breaking down the high-level requirements um, to Nigerians. Nigerians cannot understand high-level requirements. Oh, we, 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 our strategy is to get, um, for example, water to to a community. No, no, Nigerians don't understand that. That's high level. Bring it down. Okay, Niger this company would is doing this. This is what we are doing at this time. In this month, this well, this sort of thing will be done. That is how Nigerians, that is what Nigerians understand. And that is the truth because they can only say, that's why we allocate projects to companies and we don't have a, a time frame for that to be completed. We don't have the, uh, the strategy on which they are operating on. And also, we don't have anything to, to checkmate. There, there are no KPIs, key performance indicators, to checkmate what is going on or what they are doing. At the end of the day, you see that project is not completed. Nobody knows. Nobody talks about it. It's not, account it's not accountable to anyone. And at the end of the day, everything are just half hazard hazardly in Nigeria. That's the problem. So Bola Tinubu has come out this morning to say, you know what? Pay monies if you need ascertain that Nigerians, ascertain the people that are actually living in poverty at the minute. Find a way. Don't do it through the local government. Find a way to get these monies across to Nigerians in their account. Pay the monies to their account. And as such, that is what these billionaires that has just donated money to the federal government, 20 billion naira to this federal government. Imagine those billionaires if they had dropped just 1,000 naira to each, every Nigerian that has a bank account. The, the, every, the country will be bubbling. People will be happy in the lockdown if you really want to help. But these guys, they're just trying to create their names, put their names in the scheme of things, make Nigerian, Nigeria harder because um, they that have donated billions to Nigeria, it's easier for them to get contracts from the government. And, and, and at the end of the day, the government pays them back. That's the idea. The government has to pay these guys back. And that's what they are doing. If not, they know. They know that the right thing to do is to disburse these monies to individual Nigerians. But they wouldn't do it because they know that they need favors from the federal government. Why is everybody donating to the, to the federal government? Oh, first bank, boom, one billion to the federal government. Oh, ote dollar, boom, this one, then go to boom. Everyone, they're donating to the federal government. And this money is, does not even get to ordinary Nigerians. It's, it's shared within the federal government. It's shared within them. They don't get to Nigerians. If we want to probe that, when we started probing that, probing that 
the, the, uh, the uh, Arkansas General's office caught fire, was gutted with fire. That's to tell you what that these guys, they know exactly what they're doing. But this morning, Bola Tinubu has come out to say, use BVN. Send the monies to Nigeria via BVN. So Nigerians, this is what is happening. Please do leave your comments in the comment section. Let's discuss about this. Let's see if what Bola Tinubu has said is the right thing according to yourself. If you feel it's the right thing, put a comment down there. And also give us a thumbs up to let us know that you appreciate us getting the news to yourself every day and every hour. Thank you very much, my people. Please do subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed and press the notification button if you haven't done that as well. So as soon as we upload this news, mostly in this lockdown, you get all of them directly and swiftly. Thank you very much. Until I come your way again, you stay safe. God bless you.